You know that video is the best way to grow your business. However, you're not ready to show your face. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn your graphics from Canva into animated videos. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach you how to film yourself so you can film once to teach many. If you want to leverage your expertise to make money, then make sure to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos every Wednesday. Okay, so I have this set as a carousel post and now I'm going, I can post it as a square video if I want to post it onto Facebook, but I want to make this a little more interesting. I'm going to post it as a reel. So to do that, I'm going to go over to resize and I'm just going to change my height into 1920. So you can see here now it is real size. So I can keep everything as is, or I can move things around if I want to resize things, but I'm just going to make this as simple as possible and I'm going to keep it as is. So to animate this now, all I'm going to click on is animate and then I'm going to get all these options here on the side. So I can slide in and out. There we go. I have photo movements, so it's going to move my photo up or down. Here's a fun one for the page. I can either apply this to all pages or have it for this one alone. I can also adjust which elements are going to animate and I can make them all animate differently. So say for example I want this three to animate differently and now all of a sudden this top option has changed. So I have page animations, so that means to the entire page and then I have text animations to whatever I select. So let's say I'm going to have that three pan in, I'm going to select this, I'm going to have this shift down, I'm going to have this, let's say typewriter so we can typewriter it out. So cool. The typewriter effect used to take forever to do, but now it just easily just types right out. I love it. I can select on my photo and I can go into the photo movements. There we go. So I have all that done. If I click on the page here, I can edit my duration. So how long this whole clip is going to appear. So I'm going to change this down to let's have this three seconds and then I can press play right here. So it's going to show me that and it's going to go on to the next one. The problem with animating in Canva, however, is that it doesn't allow you to control whether or not you want to animate in and out. It, like you can't just animate it in and then it goes to the next thing. It's going to animate in and out for all of them. So it's going to switch between each of the slides. Let's just go one element at a time. So this we can pan in. Let's have this text typewriter. Let's have this text go up. Let's have this one. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. There we go. So we have all different animations for everything and I can click on the outside of that and then trim that one as well. I'm going to make them all three seconds so I can click apply to all. So they're all going to be three seconds. If I want to change that later, I can do that. So for this one, let's go in and animate them again. So we click on animate and then click on the layer of how you want it to animate. We wanted that. We want that to go up. We want this to burst up. We want this. Yeah, there we go. Because there's so many different elements in here, I'm just going to go into animate and I'm going to go click on page animation. So it's going to allow me to do the entire page first. Oh, I like that. And then I'm going to click on the photo one to have that one different. And so I know it's page animations versus photo animations for whatever I select because I liked that zoom. There we go. And I'm going to get this to typewriter. Yay! So now I have all my elements animated. Now I can go to the play button. I can see how it's going to go between all of them. Oh, 
Awesome. Now just press download and an MP4. I want all my videos. I'm just gonna get out my phone. And to get it on your phone, you have a few options. So if you're editing on your computer, you can download it from your computer and then airdrop it to your phone. Or if you have Canva on your phone, you can just access Canva that way. So I'm gonna go to the vertical video, there we go. And then I can go there, I can download it as an MP4 video, download it. I can go over to Instagram, go to plus, reel, swipe up, find my video with all the animations, add it, and as an extra thing, just so I can get more attention to my animated video, I can go to music, and then I can look for music that is doing well. Let's see, I can't tell right here what's trending, maybe my saved, all these are trending. Let's say this one. I just add it. Fun song for this. So there you have it. Now you know how to convert your carousel posts into videos so you can post them as reels in your feed. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. I have new videos out each and every week. Until next time, peace!